up fam so it's been a while a long while uh, I'm gonna try to kick off the vlogs again uh, not just these like car show videos we have some stuff coming up some projects uh, so I'm gonna kick it off today with dropping off some stuff at the storage unit uh, swinging by saying hello to my grandmother and then off to do the brakes on well I'll cut to the clip here this beast <laughs> Hold up, light. Well, whew, I'm a little out of breath, I'm a little tired. It's taking longer than I thought. I've actually never spent this long on a brake job before. So truth be told is I've never really had to do drum brakes before. I think like once before on my old uh, Dodge. And uh, those are a little more straightforward. Super people are gonna read me, be like, well, it's not hard on this either. Well, it wasn't hard, I just was an idiot and forgot how I took it apart. So I had to look it up and figure it out and then I realized I put the spring on this side in the wrong spot so I had to pull it apart. So that put me about 15 minutes behind and then, you know, I adjusted them a little bit but the backs are done, front's in the air, I'm doing that now. I tried to do it the cheater way and uh, use a big old channel lock or uh, pliers and loosen the bleeder and squeeze it, but of course it 
little bit of fluid came out and nothing happened with the cup. So uh, the old man is running to his house to get uh, the little compressor thing and uh, a couple odds and ends and a welding mask because I decided to quickly throw some haggard ass exhaust on this thing. I got this, you know, just O'Reilly's reducers and whatnot to fit what's under there. I hacked it off the other day and it sounds it sounds boxer life, but uh I you know, in this uh day and age I don't want to get pulled over for them thinking my exhaust rotted off because this thing looks pretty, you know death. Subaru! <laughs>